As its name implies, this camp is right on the edge of a lovely tropical forest in the town of Morgan Bay on the east coast of South Africa. Morgan Bay is about 85 kilometers to the east of East London, so about a 45 minute drive. I was very impressed with the beauty of Yellowwood Forest. It has grassed campsites and there's always a view of the forest, providing a natural beauty which changes during the day as the sun moves across the sky. The owners prefer to call this place a retreat, and I can see why. During the week, when there are very few campers, it's quiet and relaxing, with the noises of birds and nature the only sounds that you'll hear. There are large and small sites available to house small or large groups. There's plenty of shade to park the car in to protect it from the hot sun. The buildings on the property are rustic and simple and fit in beautifully with the surroundings. The look of these buildings takes me back to my childhood. My grandfather's house was built in a similar style, with stone that was taken from the river, making up the walls and bound together by a locally made mud cement. A simple and affordable way to build your home and a beautiful way to live. The ablution buildings have been built in the same style, in a rustic but clean and functional, with hot showers heated with gas and plenty of toilets. They're basic though and you won't find electrical shaving outlets and cell phone chargers and the lighting in the toilets is dim at night, pretty much the way things were 60 or 70 years ago. The campsite also has a backpackers section to provide dormitory accommodation for young people traveling around the country. There's a pub and a restaurant area which is very popular during the Saturday markets with good food and various items for sale. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video. There's 16 amp electricity at each site, so there's plenty of power to boil the kettle and make the toast without tripping the power. There are taps around the park to provide water to campers. I chose a site that's close to the tap and connected water straight into my caravan. I fitted a 15 litre electric hot water geyser into my caravan when I first started this journey two years ago. So I have hot and cold water available at the sink and in my shower. The tap water is not suitable for drinking though, so drinking water is provided for campers in large drums. There are some great hikes in the area and the retreat has its own hiking trail which goes through the forest and starts at the bottom of the park as you walk over a small stream. There are a large number of birds all over the park as well as in the forest so if you're a bird watching enthusiast you'll have a lot of fun. The park is very safe with no recent theft or threatening activities to report. I was here in the first month of winter arriving in mid-June and the weather was incredible cool nights which are perfect for sleeping and after about 9 in the morning the weather warms up to shorts and t-shirt temperature. So very pleasant. This is a summer rainfall area and it gets very humid here in summer. As I was here in winter there were no mosquito or other bug problems so lovely to sit outside especially around the fire on a perfect wind-free evening. The park is in a dip and surrounded by hills which deflect any wind over the top of the park and a gentle breeze keeps everything cool down below. There are some very strong winds occasionally but the trees in the park provided enough protection and I didn't have any damage. The same dip that deflects the wind also blocks cell phone signals. I was able to get a signal right at the top of the park near the gate and by slipping my phone into an old sock and hanging it in a thorn tree, I was able to use the phone as a hotspot and get some internet in the caravan to watch online movies and series and live sport. There's no swimming pool at this park. Everyone swims in the river pool which fills up in summer. The sun goes down early this far east, so by around five in the afternoon at this time of the year, it's nearly dark and cools off quite quickly. Morgan Bay is about 40 kilometers off the N2, down toward the sea on a very good tarred road. The last 500 meters of the caravan park though is on quite a rough dirt road, tough on the shocks and tires of both your car and caravan, so be aware of that. The park is about a kilometer and a half from the sea, where there are beautiful beaches and some good surfing to enjoy, if you're young and fit. 
I was amazed to find people swimming at the end of June, which is the first month of winter in these parts. The water is fairly warm and the weather is great, certainly hot enough for a dip on this day. There's also a river which empties into the sea in Morgan Bay. The river's entrance to the sea has been closed off at the beach to form a lagoon, which is lovely and safe to swim in or to take a canoe out for a paddle or to do some fishing. So great weather combined with a beach and lagoon close by and you can swim in winter, quite an interesting place. There's a general dealer store about a kilometer up the road which provided all of my food needs. They also have a little liquor section. The summer holidays around Christmas time are very popular in this area and the beaches are busy and crowded and the prices quadruple as they do in most coastal parts of South Africa. The Easter holidays are very popular too but the rest of the year is quiet and very much cheaper. If you can come out of season you'll find a splendid camping retreat with excellent beaches and great weather at a price which is very affordable. I thoroughly enjoyed my stay at Yellowwood Forest. It's an area of natural beauty and I give this park a rating of 7 out of 10. If you've stayed at Yellowwood Forest, please give us your rating in the comments section below. If you like these videos and would like to see more of them, please consider becoming a channel patron with a small donation for every video that I release. Just click on the patron link in the comments section below the video.